A bee colony does not worship its queen. It monitors her. The queen is not a ruler. She is a function. Her job is simple. Lay eggs. Maintain chemical order. Keep the colony synchronized. Every bee knows her presence through scent. A healthy queen releases pheromones that suppress rebellion, organize labor, and signal stability. As long as that signal is strong, the colony remains calm. But pheromones fade. Age weakens production. Disease disrupts chemistry. Egg laying slows. The workers detect it immediately. Not consciously, biologically. The colony enters assessment. New queen cells are built quietly. Larvae are fed royal jelly. Backups are prepared. The old queen is still alive, still walking, still laying, but she is already obsolete. When the replacement is ready, the system resolves the conflict. Sometimes the workers surround the old queen. They vibrate, they overheat her body, they suffocate her. Other times, the new queen kills her directly. There is no hesitation. This is not cruelty, it is continuity. A weak queen threatens the future. Fewer eggs mean fewer workers. Fewer workers mean collapse. The colony does not choose loyalty. It chooses survival. Bees evolved to protect the system, not the individual at its center. The queen exists only as long as she works. When she doesn't, the hive replaces her. Quietly, efficiently, without emotion. In a superorganism, leadership is conditional, and survival always outranks royalty.